Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tiny Clips for Tiny Tots, the show where we meet the musical instruments and the musicians that play them. My name is JT, and I play French horn for the Seattle Symphony. Today, I'll be your host as we meet da -da -da -da, Team Trumpet. Before we get to that, let's warm it up a little bit. I'll sing something, and you'll sing it back. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. Let's look around for friends. To use our eyes and wave to them. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. Let's look around for a friend. And remaining six feet away, as per CDC guidelines, give an air five to them. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. One more time. Awesome job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very well deserved. This week, we're taking a closer look at the trumpet section. And I'm going to need your help to sing hello to our musicians one by one. Some of these guys you may even recognize. <laughs> Let's get things started with David on the trumpet. Hello, David. Hello, David. Hello, David. It's time to say hello. David plays the trumpet. David plays the trumpet. David plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. Next up is Alexander. Hello, Alexander. Hello, Alexander. Hello, Alexander. It's time to say hello. Alexander plays the trumpet. Alexander plays the trumpet. Alexander plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. Next up is Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. It's time to say hello. Mike plays the trumpet. Mike plays the trumpet. Mike plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. And last up is Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. It's time to say hello. Chris plays the trumpet. Chris plays the trumpet. Chris plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. Awesome! Another round of applause for our musicians. <laughs> In the orchestra, all of the trumpets work together on Team Trumpet to make some outstanding music. Before we hear more of that, let's take a closer look at the trumpet. 
Oh, what's up, dudes, dudettes, and NBs? I'm the Horn Hippie, and today I'm going to be your instrument anatomy professor. <laughs> Rock on! Let's check this out. Let's check this out. All right, so here's a trumpet. It's made of metal. Oh, there's a hand. Oh! So this is the mouthpiece. This is what players buzz into to get the sound. Okay, to put the mouthpiece back on the trumpet, you gotta be really careful. Line it right up with that part called the mouthpiece receiver. That's the water key. Just in case there's water buildup in the instrument, they can just press that button and the water just goes out. Okay, we're getting a close up look at the inside of a valve now. Whoa, look at that. Oh, there's a spring right there. Right there in that part, yeah. That must help the button come back up after you press it. Oh, putting it back in, real, be real gentle. And then screw on the valve cap. Oh, nice and fast. <laughs> oh, that click. That's how trumpet players know the valve is back in its place. Oh, and that's the bell. That's where the sound comes out of. So air travels all the way through all of that and then out the bell. Well, that was pretty fun. Now we know all the parts of the trumpet. This has been Instrument Anatomy with the Horn Hippie. Peace out. Now let's explore the role of the trumpet in the orchestra. The trumpet is the highest member of the brass family. It plays with a big, brilliant sound. The trumpet is really great for announcing things and is used many times in the orchestra to demonstrate when something really important is happening, like when the sun is rising in this next musical example. The trumpet plays a lot of famous orchestra melodies you might recognize, like this one about a mischievous magician. Those pieces are so cool. The trumpets get to play so many iconic melodies in the orchestra. How do you make all those different sounds? We play using our air, our buzz, our mouthpiece, and our instrument. Our fingers press these valves down, and that changes the pitch on the trumpet as we play. These are mutes. We have so many, and we can use them all to create different types of sounds. This is a straight mute, and when we put it in the bell of the trumpet, it gives it a nasty, scratchy, brassy sound. Sometimes, when we're tired of hearing loud, metallic trumpet sounds for too long, we'll use something called a cut mute to make the trumpet sound much more dark and mellow, like this.
This is the Harmon or wah-wah mute. It has an opening in the end that trumpet players can cover and uncover with our hands in order to make funny cartoon sounds on the trumpet. One of the greatest things about the trumpet is our relationship with tools normally only reserved for use in bathrooms, like toilet plungers. The plunger is used to make a wah-wah effect on the trumpet, amongst other sound changes. Alexander! Clarification, that is a clean plunger that he got at a hardware store. Thank you very much. And would you look at that? Here we are again in the chat corner. You know what that means. It's time for the segment of the show. It's called Tiny Chats with Musicians You Know. <laughs> Today's special guests are David and Mike. Let's call them up real quick. What's up? What's up, John? Hey, David. Hey, Mike. Hi. And... Is that Seth? Hi. Hey, Seth. How's it going, little dude? <laughs> We're doing pretty well. <laughs> What did we watch this morning? We watched the, the horns, right? Right. Oh, you... nice. You like horn hippie, right? <laughs> Is that your favorite? Oh my goodness. Seth, how old are you? Two. You're two. Whoa. Oh man, when did that happen? Seth, what's your favorite instrument? The horn. Oh yeah, woo! <laughs> That's one of my favorites too. What instrument does your mom play? The oboe. <gasps> she plays the oboe, wow. Do you like it when dad plays the trumpet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Mike and Dave are both fathers, so I wanted to also say happy Father's Day to you guys and happy Father's Day, shout out to the dads in the audience, woo! Thanks. <laughs> Seth, can you say Happy Father's Day? Hey. Please say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Seth. Bye, Seth. Good to see you. Bye, Seth. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, my goodness. We definitely have some young trumpet fans in the audience watching. And I wanted to ask, what is your number one tip for beginning, aspiring trumpet players? Listen, listen, listen. Check out as much music and as many different players as you can. Like every time you listen to a great video or a great recording, or once we finally get back into the hall, a great concert, it's like getting a lesson. You get lessons every day. So check out as many great players as you possibly can. <gasps> Let's do a top five. Five trumpeters every beginner should hear. Do that. that Sounds good. This will be fun. This is just this is just a great place to start. There are a lot of great trumpet players out there, and these are just some to get the ball rolling. Let's start with number five, Maurice Murphy. Maurice Murphy is maybe the most famous trumpet player that most people have never heard of. He was the principal trumpet in the London Symphony Orchestra. His first day of work as the principal trumpet of the London Symphony Orchestra was the recording session for the first Star Wars film. So welcome to your new job. Number four, Philip Smith. Philip Smith is the former principal trumpet of the New York Philharmonic, who I got to hear live on many occasions. He was a huge influence to the trumpet world. Phil Smith's sound is the model that we all strive for as players, in my opinion, especially in the orchestral world. Number three, Allison Balsam. Allison really was sort of a pioneer and a groundbreaker in the trumpet world. You know, you think about school bands. Trumpet often has been a boys club. It's sort of a group of knuckleheads sitting in the back being knuckleheads. <laughs> and Allison Balsam was one of the first people to show that it's actually not a boys club. She has a huge solo career. So even though Allison is a relatively young player, you already see the world changing because of her own influence. The most famous trumpet competition is the ARD competition in Munich. And last year's winner was a young Austrian woman named Selena Ott, first female winner of that competition ever in history. So it's great to see all these new doors opening for the identity of the trumpet. Coming in at number two, Hokan Hardenberger. Hokan Hardenberger is the main trumpet soloist today. He's toured the world, played with many different orchestras, has dozens of recordings, and I really enjoy his playing. Uh, 
Uh, he's commissioned over a hundred new works for the trumpet and he's sort of changed the whole vision of what solo trumpet repertoire uh, is and will be into the future. And number one, Wynton Marsalis. Wynton Marsalis was probably one of my earliest influences. I got to see him live on numerous occasions, the first time with his jazz combo. I mean, it's, it's hard to say like who's the best, but. I, I'll just come out and say it. I think, I think Wynton's probably the best living trumpet player now. He was the first person to be a trumpet superstar in America, not only as a jazz artist. I mean, of course there have been trumpet superstars, you know, Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, Clifford, Freddie Hubbard, all these people, jazz musicians. He was the first classical trumpet superstar, first on the scene and was doing stuff that no one had ever done before. Absolutely incredible player. And fun fact, we both studied with the same teacher at Juilliard, though he was there a little bit before I was. That was so much fun. And a reminder, this is just a starting place. There are so many amazing trumpet artists out there for you to check out. Thank you guys so much for chatting with us today. And now it's time for us to hear all the trumpets playing together. Next, we are going to play a piece specifically written for the Seattle Symphony Trumpet Section by our friend Tony DiLorenzo. I hope you enjoy it flying with us through a piece called Stratosphere. Thank you so much, Team Trumpet. That was awesome. <laughs> Let's give our musicians another round of applause. And thank you all at home for tuning in and learning all about the trumpet section with me today. If you enjoyed what you heard, you can find all the pieces from today and many more on the Seattle Symphony Spotify channel under the Family Programming Playlist. And now is the time in the show where we have to sing goodbye. This is the same as our hello song, but instead of singing hello, we're going to sing goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. 
Thank you all again so much. We'll see you next time with more Tiny Clips.